Hey guys, uh, good morning and welcome to Moments With Me. Uh, this week we've been talking about cravings and um, things you can do to combat those. And we want to try to empower you by giving you some knowledge. Knowledge is, uh, is a key instrument in tackling issues. I know it firsthand with my own experience with addiction. So let's get into it. Um, I've got three points that I just want to talk about today. And number one is um, if uh, one of the things that people crave a lot is salt. And if you're craving salt, then you probably need it, uh, and this is a good thing. However, we want to inform you on the correct salt that you should be in putting into your body, and that would be unrefined Celtic or Himalayan sea salt. It comes in a pink format often. Uh, you'll see it the pink little nuggets in the jug or in the jar. Um, this is a salt that is full of all kinds of other minerals, and it's the healthiest one for you. So if you're craving salt, that's not a bad thing. You probably need it. Um, the second thing I want to talk about is the distraction that cravings cause. Cravings are mainly started in the brain, and I don't know if you've ever noticed, but I certainly have. Whenever I'm craving something, I can visualize it, almost taste it, almost salivate for it. Um, we want to avoid distraction, and we want to keep focused on what we're doing in our daily activities and for our own steps forward. So um, just a little information that cravings can be very distracting. But how do we combat that then? You know, um, so I would ask you to ask a couple questions as to when these cravings happen. You know, are they happening in the afternoon? Are they happening late at night? Are they happening when you're sad, stressed, happy, or excited? Um, do they happen only around certain people? See, these are important, uh, important symptoms to when the cravings happen to be able to tackle the root cause or underlying issue of why you're actually having the cravings. It's a different approach, and it can, uh, and it can we can source then perhaps what it is that's, that's firing you up for these cravings. It's an important thing in the process. It certainly was with me again in my addiction recovery was to determine what environment I was in, what mood I was in, and try to have more control over that period of time to be able to eliminate my cravings for alcohol and cocaine. Um, and the other thing that I wanna talk about is <clears throat> uh, a lot of cravings are habitual, especially sugar. So we put ourselves into a habit or a routine whether we know it or not, or whether you're cognizant of it or not, our bodies are very habitual. And they, I don't know if you ever left your house, you felt like you'd left something behind. I did this morning, and by the time I got in my car, I'm like, that's what I forgot. I'd forgotten my, my wallet, my, my money clip. And I said, oh, geez, turn around, go get it. My body, like I'd remind, I always pick it up on the way out the door. So we're habitual creatures. And if you have programmed yourself to take, to have sugar at, uh, you know, 9 a.m. in the morning with your coffee and donut, your body is going to fire and trigger a response, an elicit response to you to be able to go for that at that hour. So what we have to do is try to break some of these habits and we have to break some of these patterns. But let's pay attention to when they're happening first. Write them down, take a note, uh, and determine if that's something that's habitual or something that's environmental, if it's something emotional. You know, um, the more you know about your cravings, it's going to be the easier it is to tackle it. One thing I would say is try to keep a little journal, a little knowledge, a little, a little log rather, of when they're happening to you. Um, second, it's gonna be really helpful to find the root cause, and that is exactly what we wanna do as holistic nutritionists. We look at the underlying symptoms, not just the symptoms. In other words, we treat the person, not just the symptoms. That's a model with whole life balance. It's a model in life for me now. So um, we'd like to uh, invite you to our Q&A again on Thursday. We're gonna dig into more of a little bit of cravings. We're gonna deal with some of my past issues of how I've combated my cravings for addiction, or for alcohol and drugs, uh, and what I use and techniques that I use that might be able to translate into your daily lives of your needs on sugar, coffee, whatever your, uh, whatever your cravings are, uh, junk food, whatever. <clears throat> and then I also wanted to let you know that our sugar detox program is getting up and running next month. Uh, we need people to sign up, uh, otherwise it'll be a no show. So um, let's hope you sign up for that. And if you have any comments for this, or any questions, please feel free to leave them at the end of this post. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye for now.